Hey Sagittarius, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for mid-June of 2024, so let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Alright, so we have the Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So maybe right now you are kind of going through a very stressful time. It kind of just feels like there's a lot of things that you have to do in a short amount of time. Maybe there is a deadline approaching in your work life. Maybe there's something going on in your personal life that, you know, there's something that you have to do by a certain time in order for it to be a success or for you to be on the right path or on the path to something that you're trying to do here. It kind of feels like your focus is really on making sure that something is successful that something happens to completion, right? That you're not moving backwards, but moving forward and not missing or um, forgetting anything in between, right? So I kind of feel like right now there is a sense of I really need to get this done. So everything else, I kind of have to put it to the side. I feel like mid-June, there's going to be this moment where you're going to just kind of like relax, right? You're going to have this relief um, because something is actually, you know, going to it's going to go according to plan and I feel like once you see that and once you're able to really kind of acknowledge the progress that you've made in the situation, you're going to feel very different because right now with this nine of swords, it kind of feels like this is the current energy, right? This is something that is going to then transform um, and ironically right behind the nine of swords is the nine of pentacles. So that, you know, it's kind of like the universe saying this is where it starts. This is how it ends. That nine of pentacles is that confident um, self-sufficient, you know, abundant energy. This is you kind of feeling like, yeah, I made it, even though it was hard, I'm here and, you know, I feel good about it. So I feel like that's going to be a really nice um, transition. Um, let's go ahead and, well, first let me see, let me show you what we got here. We have the Queen of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, Four of Wands, and Six of Swords, you know, so even myself, I'm kind of, you know, wanting to jump um, and skip certain steps, which is not really like me so maybe right now you know in your situation you feel like you have to you know kind of skip a few steps or jump um, but I feel like the universe is saying no Sagittarius you can do everything in order and it'll still be okay you don't have to skip anything or rush through the process um, I feel like with the four of pentacles maybe right now there's something concerning um, finances that is kind of you know keeping you in this um, state of mind of you know um, let's see, how do I say it? Because it doesn't feel like there is a lack of resources. It just feels like there's not enough for something in particular that you want to do or something that you are thinking about doing in the future. For some of you, it could be um, travel related, uh, moving related. It's kind of like, you know that you're going to do this. It's going to happen no matter what. But right now you could be feeling a little bit like, you know, tight on the money, you know, like things are just a little bit um, harder than they should be but i feel like with the four of wands again there's going to be a moment here where you kind of see the other side of the coin it's like something ends up working out better than you expected maybe you know there's even maybe there's like a discount that you weren't aware of and mid-june you become aware of this discount suddenly you know the price point is different or it's like something about the way that things seem it's just going to be um, better than you think i feel like with the queen of pentacles this is also confirmation that you're going to feel a lot more in control than you do in this very moment. Um, but let's go ahead and clarify the Six of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. So it kind of feels like moving forward, there could be something that you are trying to build on, work on. Like maybe for some of you, this is about your career. Um, maybe you're trying to decide between starting something new and continuing with a current position, but kind of seeing yourself um, up, you know, elevated to a different status or a different title or position. I kind of get that. It's like you're in between two very different opportunities, maybe within the same kind of field, but you know, it's it's like you're trying to figure out what's going to be better for you in the long term. Also, for some of you, one of these choices may require a little bit more movement than the other right maybe for one opportunity you have to move right you have to relocate for the position or there's a little bit of a investment or some sort of sacrifice so you're really trying to put all of these things into um, a balance here so we have the king of pentacles the page of cups and the two of pentacles so here's where that decision is i feel like mid-june you could kind of get it, be getting ready 
you could be getting ready to make a choice for whatever reason i'm doubting my words here so we have the king of pentacles maybe this is representing a opportunity maybe it's representing a um you know a sense of stability page of cups could be another opportunity it could also be love right a new opportunity in love something that is kind of you know you didn't expect it to happen but now that it's here you're kind of like okay how do i factor that into the decision that i'm making it's kind of like this is not a simple you know situation there's a lot of different factors but overall i feel like you have to go with your gut and also you have to consider how this decision is going to affect you in the long term because i feel like one of these choices that you're thinking of making it looks better immediately and then the other one looks better in a long-term perspective so um hopefully that makes sense let's clarify the four of pentacles yeah it's almost like the universe is saying do you want a short-term gain or a long-term abundance so uh, we have the moon card which is cancer to further clarify the four of pentacles so right now feels like the unknown is what is making you a little bit more uneasy again it's not that there's a lack of opportunity or a lack of resources i should say but it's kind of like you're not sure if it's going to be enough for something that you're trying to do but to further clarify the four pentacles we also have the strength card which is leo the sun which is also leo the wheel of fortune and the page of swords so i love this because this to me is confirmation that things are going to be a lot better than you expect i feel like things are going to get easier for you i feel like the, the sun and the strength is representing that as long as you're willing to take the chance the universe is gonna kind of like fulfill the rest um i feel like this is an, a situation where it's not just about you being optimistic or being positive but honestly sagittarius it's kind of like the universe is begging you to have faith in it right to to truly have faith and hope in what is happening for you and i feel like with the page of swords maybe there is some sort of bigger lesson involved or you know underneath the surface of this whole thing but i feel like mid-june is going to be really special because something is just going to go completely differently in the best way and i think that it's going to alleviate a lot of those stressors that maybe right now are making you feel a little bit uneasy so really love this for you hope you take it all in and if you like this reading and it resonated please give it a like please subscribe and i will see you in the next one